Today marks five years since the free trade deal between South Korea and the United States took effect. The figures show that both countries have benefited over the past five years, but with President Trump denouncing the pact as a job destroyer, it's unclear what the future holds. Kim Min Ji reports. Five years have passed since the free trade deal between Korea and the U.S. took effect. It's been a tough journey. During the negotiation process, it was a contentious issue in Korea with strong protests. And now the U.S. is denouncing the deal as a job destroyer. But so far, it's been a win win for both countries. While global trade has fallen an average of 2% every year for the past five years, trade between Korea and the U.S. has expanded at an annual rate of 1.7% on average since the deal took effect. Bilateral trade between the two countries stood at 109.7 billion U.S. dollars last year, up from 100.8 billion in 2011, a year before the FTA went into effect. The two countries have also increased their presence in each other's markets. Korea made up 3.2 percent of the U.S. import market in 2016, up from 2.6 percent in 2011, while the U.S. accounted for 10.6 percent of Korea's market, up from 8.5 percent. A range of supplementary measures were drawn up in the initial stages to protect sectors that could be hit. And despite concerns over an increase in agriculture imports, it hasn't affected the local market much. Among Korea's exports to the U.S., automobiles were one of the biggest beneficiaries, with outbound shipments more than doubling last year from 2011, while synthetic resins also grew twofold. As for imports from the U.S., inbound shipments of automobiles grew almost fourfold during the same period, while imports of liquefied petroleum gas or LPG surged 50 fold. However, what's worrisome is that the good times may soon be over, as the Trump administration could seek to renegotiate the deal. Trump has claimed that the trade pact has led to massive job losses in the U.S., and he's also pointed to Korea's increasing trade surplus. Seoul saw its trade surplus with Washington more than double to $23.3 billion in 2016 from $11.6 billion in 2011. Free trade deals usually emphasize the sectors in which a country has competitive edge. Therefore, from America's perspective, it may seem like a loss for manufacturing compared to Korea. But the U.S. needs to carefully assess whether this is a structural problem or is partly due to the trade pact. Experts say that while a renegotiation is likely, it won't mean drastic change. But still, because the economic circumstances are different from five years ago, they say the Korean government needs to draw up strategies for defense. Also, with protectionism in the air, Korea should seek cooperation at the international level through multilateral organizations like the G20 or WTO, rather than attempting to move independently. Kim Min-ji. Arirang News.